Okay, so as you see here, I've been working with colorizing black and white photos. And I put some onto Facebook and there was some request as to what prompts I was using. I had indicated the prompts there and I thought I'd maybe just do this little video to show you the process that I go through and some of my thoughts on the thing. Um, so when it comes to creating uh, color photos from black and white, I think we've got to realize that there, there are going to be limitations if the resolution of the original black and white photo is very poor. It's going to estimate where it goes to. And if you don't have clarity of that image and you know what the person looked like back in the day, you'd probably be very critical if because it's not going to reproduce pixels that aren't there. However, if there's sufficient pixels, it does an incredibly good job. So I'm excited about uh, the AI design assistant. Hey, uh, this was like in version five, I think. And I was using AI portrait and AI photo editor. Photo editor for me was a cool kind of in paint tool, much better than the advanced editor. Um, you know, the advanced editor, you have an in paint tool, but photo editor for me seemed to be doing that job quite well. And then upscaler, I don't think upscaler is yet, hasn't matured yet in my humblest opinion, but these were the two latest editions. Now I'm not into pets, so the human stylizer is the one where we're creating the color in the setup. So the key purpose of this little video is to share with you the simple prompt that I give and how effective it is. And then I've done one or two modifications on the prompt. I took it to ChatGPT and I asked it to sort of expand it a bit. And I did a bit of expansion. For example, instead of just saying a color image, I said use a mirrorless camera, which is the high definition cameras to take a snap or to create the color image. OK, so let me just show you. And again, if you're using different images, you're going to get different um, sort of nuances results. Some will get it close while others not. So I'm going to browse and these were images that I was using um, on the Facebook thing. But I'm, I'm going to use this one because it gave me quite more consistent results. I want to use three different prompts on the same image. Okay, so yeah, if we look at it, the resolution is 1276 by 1649. If I come here, it's 972. So although it's showing as that is your resolution, it doesn't mean that the photo itself is clear. Like this photo at the bottom is not very clear. It, this one is slightly clearer uh, when it comes to the two kids. But my mom over there, she's not too clear. So this is all of my mom. The bottom left is my mom and my dad when they got married. And my my, it's my late dad. My mom happens to be 89 now, turning 90 this year. This was when she was 16. The bottom right is my mom with my two older brothers. Okay, but I'm going to take this one because it, it's, it's going to at least give us consistent results. So uh, I am using the human stylizer. Yeah, if you choose a different dimension, it's going to add in sort of ex uh, generative fill, you know, for the rest of the object. So I'm just leaving it at default, which means it keeps the same dimensions of the original photo. Then I have a little text file where I have put in the, the prompts that I'm using. OK, so I use this first one as the original one. I'll, I'll get the others from from where I saved it. OK, so let's just get down to this. I'm going to go control V. So this is the first one we're doing. And I've already done this, so you'd see a similar result. So if I go stylize, um, I am going to go to images that I've already um, printed with. Yes, this is the one. If I go and look, this is the one that I'm doing now at the moment. And this was a much longer prompt than the one we have before. And I'm not going to use that prompt because I, th I think maybe it's let me see if I go in here, which prompt this was. Um, OK, let me just take a, a longer prompt so it's we can have context here. To that same image. So I'm going to go to there and I'm going to use on the same image. 
and I'm going to use the longer prompt and then I think I'm going to use an extremely short prompt and see whether there is a difference in it. I'm going to just say color photograph. Okay, so let's go in there. Human stylizer. So this one is just going to be Or maybe I should just say, yeah, color photograph. Okay. So the one was color and do this and skin tones and everything. Um, the other one was like a long prompt and this one is just color photograph. And we, we can check which prompt is which when we look at them now. So those are the three that we're doing. Okay. So let's see. So here we have a look, you can see that there's definite, like almost warmer tones in here. This is cooler tones. Um, you, you can technically see it's the same person. It's just with uh, different skin textures here. It's more pale. This is more sort of warm colors and maybe a bit of sort of an older look on this and a much more youthful look. So let's see what is this here. This one is... The basic prompt okay it's beautiful I mean if you have a good image for it to reference from you're gonna get results like this okay I mean this you cannot tell this from a normal photo uh, well maybe somebody can but you know what you're looking at here is the shop it's almost the depth of field it's like a, someone putting a camera onto maybe a 1.8 aperture and shooting sharp capturing the eyes and it blurring to the back depth of field really cool this one you can see there's a bit of a, a change in it the warmer tone in it and maybe let me just open up in a thing like this so you can see this is a warmer tone um, different skin kind of you know a bit more less youthful in it but still awesome awesome okay so I, i'm extremely impressed with it so let's get to the third one and there you look at the third one the third one of the three i would go in sequence of starting with this first one here going to this one and then this third one would be as far as photographic quality so the first one for me would be a uh, almost edging onto colorizing would be probably the most let me, let's just see it's most simple prompt probably yeah so color photograph if you look here it's still exceptionally good let's just go in here it's still exceptionally good it's just that you can see that the the red tones in here are a little bit well just for me it's a little bit too sort of uh, colory it's too red but pretty much you could take a photograph and get to this result uh, because maybe of the redness of the face. But out of the three of these, you hard to choose. However, if I had to choose, I would go for the middle one. The middle one does appear slightly older in the facial age, but I can always correct that in the prompt. I could say make it slightly younger and, and it would bring that out for me but the middle one has a, a sense of warmth naturalness to it um, even if you look at the the outfit here it is yeah it's it's all the same color gray but here the the tones and the textures so let's just have a look at this prompt and i think this one is one that probably will make sense convert this black and white image into high resolution color accurate replica of the original scene ensure sure the colorization is historically and contextually accurate which means that if it's an old photo you want to keep the old look and you don't want to turn it into a modern photo based on the lighting texture material known references of the era and environment skin tones fabric type natural elements wow, 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 on and on and on and yeah avoid stylization aim at photorealistic true to life results with balance contrast and shape oh man i think this is a winner um, i'm going to just 
you know, put this into the description, I think that one. Let's just try as we close off um, one of the other images and see what we can come up with it will add that value to the other images. Other one image, not, not many images. Let's see. Um, I'm not going to do this one on top for some reason it tends to flip around and these are a little bit too far away. I'm going to look for one where I can get a bit close up. Um, I'm going to see. Let me take this one here. And we're going to put a prompt to this. Let's see. Uh, there we go. We're doing the, the long prompt. Okay. And let's see what we have with this. As we close off, um, just going to take these two away. So as we close off, let's see. Okay, so that was with the long prompt. Again, it's not doing justice here. Something weird happening here. Okay, so if I had to go with that particular image that is kind of further away, um, let me try this, what's this one here? That's the same image that it gave us. Um, Let me go to maybe a, a simpler prompt. Okay, I'm going to go for a, a simpler prompt on this and see if we can come out with it. So for an image that's a little bit further away, I'm going to just be as basic in a prompt as I can get. I mean, not too basic, like just colorize kind of thing. But I'm going to s explain that this person is standing against a wall. Okay, so the lady standing against a wall. I need an extremely high quality clear color photo of her and her surroundings. Okay. Ensure that her facial features are sharp and clear. Okay. I'm going to give that <laughs> and give that as a chance. And again, I mean, you know, there's no harm in trying a prompt in that way. I know sometimes we pop it into ChatGPT and ChatGPT gives us like this brilliant long prompt and the ability to like, you know, do the tweaks and all that. And on photos like this, they, they work great. But if you find something's not working, maybe just give a normal explanation if you're seeing the issue that you have. Uh, and if it gets close to that, then you could take it over to chat and just say, OK, chat, uh, refine this, but I still want the skin textures are not coming down realistically. Can you add that into the prompt somehow? And then we'll see what it does there. OK, so let's see. I'm going to refresh this page. And just between the two lot now that's it there's something there is something we've got something now this vote is more representative of the original that the person's looking to the side but this one is giving us a bit more although it's it's not perfectly clear but it's giving us a lot more of naturalness okay and you see that was just because of a prompt change so from that to that and I think if we, we carry on just tweaking so ladies standing against the wall I need an extremely high quality clear fo color photo of her and her surroundings and ensure that her facial features are sharp and clear there we go so again folk um, 
modify your, your prompt, I would suggest that you, if your prompt can be as short and concise, you're probably going to get better results because if you get close to it, you can tweak it in a little bit. But if it's a long prompt with a lot of explanations and you want to tweak it, that, that tweak becomes one of 10 things that it's going to do. Whereas if you get to your end result within three, four instructions, then your fifth instructions has a lot of weight in the prompt itself. Okay, so yes, um, if you see another photo in, for example, the community section, and you see something like, uh, let's say, this photo here, and you like what's happening with it, you click the little I, and you go there, and you see what the, the um, prompt is, and then you can use those prompts, okay? That's the reason for the community to share their stuff with it. Okay, so hopefully that assists you. And yeah, in the description below, I'm going to put in uh, the prompts that I used here. And also, if anybody is not familiar with Artistly or any of the other products, there's going to be a, a what you call this thing? A affiliate key. That if you click on that, it will take you to the site. And uh, I'd make a little bit of resource from that if you choose that. If you don't, if you go there directly, that's also cool, uh, you know, as long as you get hold of the tool. And there's two packages, just a heads up on this. There's like a $47 and a $97. That's the last time I checked. The 97 gives you like carte blanche, like you can do anything unlimited. The 47 you can do unlimited, but lots of the features are restricted. And the worst thing with this kind of platform is you want to get to a cool feature like this and find out that it doesn't fall into that early sort of package. So like just close your eyes and go for the 97. Not all these features on this program are like next level. They are all growing and growing and growing to that point because it, it grows according to how AI itself is growing and the models are growing and the agents are growing. Um, and then this company has also got tons, tons of other applications besides Artistly that you can have a look at. Cool. So be blessed. Have a fantastic day and shalom to everybody.